Welcome racers, uh, back to Project Cars 2. Uh, after a few inventational events, uh, some were cool, some were less, it is time to continue the career. So, in a career, I'm still in single seaters. Haven't touched it for a long time. Um, what we have here, I finished Formula C, well, I finished Formula Rocky, Formula C. Um, Formula Renault 3.5, and it is time for Formula A. I'm not sure if Formula A is equivalent of uh, something like Formula One. Uh, they, they they just they just didn't have a license in Project Cars 2, or if this is something different. I'm not sure what Formula X would be in this case. Obviously, IndyCar is IndyCar. But anyway, let's go with Formula A. Um, I think it's probably not as fast as Formula One. We'll see. It's time to sign the contract. Let's watch that short uh, presentation video. Some raining there, hopefully there won't be many rain options in those cars. I'm not sure how they would behave. Okay, so we have... Uh, what do we have? We have... Let's see the difference between short and long. So this is the short calendar. We will go with the long calendar, the full calendar. Eight races, uh, Red Bull Ring, Road America, Circuits of the Americas, Bruno, Watkins Glen, Imola, Zuhai, and Dubai. So we going uh, Europe, America, America, Europe again, America again, Europe, uh, Asia, and uh, Middle East. First race, 24th of March in Red Bull, on, on Red Bull in Austria. That's going to be a cold race. Uh, yeah, 24th of March, spring. I'm not expecting high temperatures. It may be a harder race because of that. Warming up tires will be a challenge, probably. Road America is April. I don't know. I don't know about that. Probably still cold. Circuits of the America, that should be a warm, nice race. Bruno in June should be fine. Watkins Glen in July should be okay. Imola in August should be you know, perfect. Zuhai in September, no idea. And Dubai... Dubai is fine all year uh, around. It's, you know, <laughs> 50 degrees in summer, 14 winter. So, yeah, not a big difference there. Rules and regulations. Let's have a look there. So we have Formula, Formula A format. Each round consists of this session's practice qualifying race, obviously. Um, Pitley is open during all sessions for repairs and tire change. Refueling is only allowed during the practice session. So we need to have a fuel for the whole of the race. We cannot refuel during the the race so it's kind of formula one regulation points as all points in project cars uh, okay that's all really so let's continue uh, livery uh, choice um, a quick look oh I like this one uh, green or red uh, I'll go with green 65 why not too this is the contract offer. Um, yeah, this this is just, you know, click the button thing. I prefer the contract options in Project Cars 1. Uh, you couldn't choose a livery. The team was just offering you a contract. You either sign it or not. Here you can, you know, choose a team kind of. It's a different. I think the one in in Project Cars 1 was better if the few you had a few... Um, teams to choose from i think you know some people had a job for you others didn't uh, it was it was kind of quite a, quite a cool thing signed that contract uh yes and we are a formula one team driver 26th of march is uh is the race uh, 24th is the uh, start of the weekend we have a few emails i'll do that uh, offline no points wasting our time to read those now uh <clears throat> okay, so let's let's check the settings here. So we have practice on qualifying on. I'll do the practice, uh, but you won't see it in that video. That would be probably quite boring. So I will uh, skip it in the editing and jump straight to qualifying. And then the race, I don't know where there's one lap less, 35 laps full distance and a career settings. Opponent skill level. This is a tough one. Uh, I probably will go with 80% because why not to? 
Uh, I may adjust it and I'll let you know uh, after just before the call if I adjusted that. But let's try 80, 70 aggression as always. Uh, that's all. Let's start. Obviously, it's uh, you know a modern formal Formula car, so uh, puddles, shifting, uh, clutch at the wheel as well. Here, uh, I changed the wheel from the round one to something uh, resembling Formula One. It's actually the GT3 wheel, but not a huge difference there. The principle is the same. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of those buttons are not usable in project cars too. It is what it is. I have some setup here, not sure what it is. Let's have a quick look. So this is a loose base setup for Formula R A on soft tires. So let's load it, but I guess that will be just the tire change. Yeah, so soft, soft slicks were uh, pre-picked. Track temperature 14 degrees, super cold, 12 degrees ambient, forecast is medium cloud. Uh, it will be cold all uh, session through. Fuel, I need to check how much fuel that car uh, consumes, burns, uh, whatever. Okay, let's go on track. Let's see how that the car behaves. I want to see the uh, brake temperatures. Um, the rear seems to go really cold, the front as well. I probably the ducts are too open for those low temperatures in the truck. That car also has curse and DRS. Those tires are cold and that would be a problem. Those are soft tires and they're not, warm, they're not warming up. This is the result of those very low temperatures on this truck. I mean, whoever came with the idea of uh, racing in Austria in March. Yeah, thank you very much for that. The rears are a bit warmer, the left tire seems to have uh, a good... close to uh, optimal temperature, I think 70 degree is what I would consider optimal.
Just checking the fuel consumption. 2.8 liter per lap. Driving over the scarps is a bit dangerous. Uh, I will give you some time so you can see how it's uh, looking at the moment. I haven't done a lot of kilometers in that car in Project Cars 3. I'm not a huge fan of uh, open wheels as I said before. I'm second at the moment. At 80% difficulty, I think if I will be able to stay around that, I'm going to keep it. Just want to get some feeling. Obviously those single seaters are so much different than GT or even prototype cars, so... And at the moment I'm not using CURS or DRS. Uh, the main reason for that is I just... I'm not used to using them. I'm not... I usually don't drive... Cars which uh, have the systems available. Uh, we can try. A lot of oversteer there. A bit too much power. I'm first at the moment. Still not using curse though. Trying to use curse now. Let's switch the display so we can actually see the curse usage. Yeah, here we go. We can see it now here. It's recharging, I think. Yeah, it is during the braking. So I think the whole recharge energy comes from the Braking. Oh, maybe it actually comes from the heat as well, because uh, it's recharging during the normal drive as well. too hard to lock wheels in this car, so I'm actually quite careful there. So I'm first at the moment, I'm not sure what's my advantage over the second. Whoa, okay. That's possible, good to know.
force feedback is quite strong in those cars. My shoulders are actually working quite hard. A bit wide here. Let's check the tire temperatures. Uh, the front are still cold, but the rears look quite good. Though this can be due to the spins. Um, I won't be doing any more of uh, testing. Don't see any point in doing that. The time difference is uh, not that big. Uh, 0.4, I think. I think I can increase the difficulty a little bit more, um, just to give, uh, just to level the playing field. Though I'm also guessing that some of that comes from, you know, me being lucky on a single lap rather than being uh, really great overall. Uh, but that's hard to tell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... You know what, this is first race. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to change the difficulty a little bit. So let's exit. Okay, so let's increase the difficulty to 85, save it, and that will be all. That, that I won't be changing anymore. Uh, you know, this is just a single lap uh, time. It may, completely, it may look completely different during the race, and I'm spinning still a little bit. I'm not used to those cars, so yeah, I won't be taking too much risk going with the difficulty too high. Uh, I'll be skipping the practice session. I think, you know, uh, I won't achieve any more than what I did there so and the only thing i'm going to do actually i'm going to adjust that setup so let's load it again uh, this one and i'm going to adjust the fuel because what we have here is default and that's not enough um, that car is what there was 2.80 something so 2.9 liter per lap 35 laps um, How accurate it is. Uh, that 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 gives me more than three liters. No, actually, based on the I don't know why it shows 41 laps, but making a quick calculation, counting three liters per lap, that's 30, 60, 90, 105. Uh, so that that would be what I need. Um, yeah, so 107 liters probably, just to be safe. It shows 41 laps, but that should be just for 35 laps. So I'm going to keep 107 liters of fuel. Um, actually, there's one more thing I would like to try. So let's keep that. Let's save that. One of the things I want to check actually is how is it going to behave on the hard slicks? Ah, it's too cold for hard slicks. No, there's no point. Let's keep that for this. Okay. So let's uh, let's start. Go, go, go. Uh, let's go to pit box and let's go to. Skip to end and let's start qualification. Here we go. So continue to qualifying. Those times were not representative. When you're skipping, the AI goes uh, weird about times. Let's uh, edit that setup again. This time by reducing the fuel for quality. 
we'll do a uh, Yeah, we do four lapper, so two flying laps, out lap and in lap. Let's save it to a new slot. Um, going to call it Q for qualification. Uh, we're going to prepare pit strategy. This is just in case. Uh, what I want here is actually the other thing I can do. I can try to reduce the pressure. It will help to increase the temperature quickly. It may behave different overall during the race, long race, but a quick increase in temps is achievable by reducing that, especially in front, right? How low I can go? Yeah, I don't want to go that low. That's crazy. Oh, the, t the rear actually is quite low, so maybe I want the front lower as well. Because the front was a, a bit below what I was expecting. Uh, yeah, let's do like let's do it like that and see how that work. How that works for me. Uh, okay, I'm going to save it to the existing. Okay, and let's. Um, Let's look into the pit strategy. We'll do tires only. Um, a quick look into those though. Um, let's edit. Yeah, those pressures are too high. That's what they put on my on my wheels, right? I'm wasting time, unfortunately. The session is ongoing. Okay, did it save it? Yeah, damage, I don't want any repairs, save pit strategy, let's set up as default, and let's, uh, let's go. Go, go, a lot of power in that car. I think that it was just on the edge of uh, being within the truck limits. That curb just uh, try to kind of trap me. Couldn't drive out of it.
I'm not sure how that curse actually works. I was not able to activate it again. But from what I can see, I'm first, so that first lap was good enough. Whoa, and this one is so much quicker. That would be it. Two laps, as, uh, as I was planning to do. Not sure what the times are. I'll see them once I get to that hit. I think the sector 3 was much much slower, uh, the sector 2 was uh, was really good, I think, and sector 1. Copy that, VIP request confirmed, we're ready for you when you are. We should be able to see this time uh, straight away, as soon as I park. There we go. Uh, I won't be doing anything, I just want to go to pit. 114, I didn't expect that. Um, one grid place penalty. I'm curious what I've done. And I'm also curious why my time is so, so much better. I guess they run in different level of fuel or something. This is ridiculous. I suddenly improved by 1.5 seconds. Uh, don't know what happened there. Uh, the difficulty may be <laughs> maybe a bad idea. I'll try to run the race. If they too slow or if I'm too fast, I will... Uh, Modify the difficulty. I don't want this race to be too easy. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Uh, it's P2. I I got a penalty and I'm not sure for what. I really don't. No. I missed it. Uh, as this is being recorded, I may actually have a look later. Uh, I'm going to wait till the end of the session, and the reason I'm going to do it so is because uh, keeping the session. Uh, influences the times, AI times, in a funny way. I don't want to do it. Um, I probably will, well, when editing the video, I probably will skip straight to the race, so you, you, know, you don't have to sit here watching that. So as promised, I'm skipping um, to the end of qualifying, uh, so you don't have to watch it all, uh, me waiting in the pit, for the, in the garage, for the, uh, AI to finish uh, the driving. I don't think this this time is representative, but we will see. Um, well, let's continue to the race. I got a grid penalty, not sure for what. And let's change the strategy to the racing one. Uh, soft slicks. Uh, I'm taking softs because it's cold. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to last me the whole. The whole race, that's the problem. 35 laps on those. Uh, I, had, I have uh, 107 liters fuel, which I'm going to confirm uh, right now. Maybe I won't. Um, 107 liters of fuel, speed strategy. Uh, that should be set up properly. 
And it is softs only, we cannot refuel in the trace. Starting second, uh, yeah, let's try. Let's see how it goes. I like the delivery. The car looks pretty, pretty sweet. Let's go. Not a best start. That's a great start, mate. Oh, wasn't too bad then. Whoa! I thought he will hit me. It may be quite hard to force an error on AI. Should have been the third gear, not on the fourth. Good stuff, you're fastest in sector one. And I will take it, thank you very much. remember about DRS every single time. DRS is not something I'm used to using.
not looking bad even though difficulty increase. It's like two seconds advantage. The tires are going fast though. Um, this is lap five and they five percent down already. The degradation is huge in the uh, single seaters. I think it was the same in the Formula Renault. try to save those tires if I can use the advantage I have in time for a bit smoother ride. Careful with the engine, the up shifting and down shifting. That's why I'm not using curse if I don't have to. I was trying a third gear a few times here, now I'll try the fourth gear, and the fourth gear actually works well as well to me. Don't have to worry about the upshift downshift here. A bit wide here, yeah. I didn't brake uh, strong enough for some reason. That was a mistake on my side. Good consistent driving. Let's cut down some fast time to fill this gap. Good. Nice one. That's what I want. 
Let's try to increase that gap a bit. Surprisingly, the tires temperatures are not looking too bad. They're not perfect, but they're not too bad. They're staying around 70 degrees. Uh, the front right is a bit cold, below 70. But it also depends on the position of the truck. So it's very dynamic. I'd like to change from time to time. Tires are 10 percent gone. Pretty much all four of them. The gap stays at around two seconds, which is not too bad. Gives me a little bit of buffer. Early the upshift. The engine is seven percent down, and I don't think I'm treating it badly. So just seven percent down because I'm driving. Wow.
this car requires uh, a higher level of concentration in comparison to the previous formula or single seaters I was uh, driving in the game. I have in plans uh, to start uh, a Formula 1 2021 game today as well. We'll compare how it looks like. That, uh, that car is quite demanding. Uh, one, have to be, one has to be very careful with accelerator, with brakes. With that uh, loose setup, it doesn't like trail braking at all, so all the braking has to be done before hitting the corner. Maybe on the stable setup that will be possible, or maybe on the custom setup if someone has time to play with that, or find one on the internet. But as I drive it at the moment, all the braking has to be done on straights before entering the corner. And it an attempt on a pet trail braking causes a huge instability in the car. And it's either a big slide or a spin. Engine is 8% down. This is lap 13. Looking at my times, or actually in deltas, one can tell that this is um, I'm lacking consistency. It is easy to tell that this is a very spontaneous attempt without much preparation and training. Are they crazy? I don't want to hear about any rain. The forecast was uh, medium clouds, if I remember correctly. What is it talking about? Are they crazy? I don't want to see any rain. Not in the first race. Please give me some time to get used to the scars. That was a huge twitch. And that was what I was saying. I was breaking in the in the wrong moment, wrong place, and that destabilized the car. It looks very clear. Why was he talking about the rain? I don't see any dark clouds here.
some light drizzle over the pits. Keep your eyes peeled. You made yep. the call. If you want wet, tell us. It really is. I can hear it. And I could see it uh, for a moment on my uh, helmet. Bloody hell, that's the last thing I needed. Yeah, the rain is here as well now. Hopefully it's a small one. And I don't have to worry about it. It is definitely rainy, yes. is still drivable so that's not an issue but how long I'm waiting for that first moment when those tires are going to fail me. That's lap 20 already. The truck looks wet now. It's still drivable somehow. But I'm losing a lot of time.
AI doesn't seem to be affected. just hit me. Hit request confirmed. Hit any time. Yeah, the AI is just driving like there's no wet truck at all, like it's all dry and good. Hopefully I pick up the correct strategy. Too late to change now. All clear to go. Yeah, those are words, good. I have fresh tires, I have no idea what's the pressure on them because I haven't adjusted the strategy. I'm 13 at the moment. That's very unexpected change of events in that race. Especially I don't know what to expect from that car now on those tires. Now if the rules are if the rules are like in Formula One, the DRS should be prohibited now. Let's try it. Well, I'm not sure if it's working if it's working or not. I'm P3 at the moment. It is slippery, it is wet. I try to be careful with my accelerator. It's drivable though on those tires, so that's good. I won't be able to catch that, forget about this.
I'm P2 now, so someone was staying on slicks, like, till now, wow, amazing. Lock the wheels there. Who is it the guy in front is on slicks or on uh, wet? Should be undrivable on slicks, but that's AI, so, so AI doesn't care. Yeah, I think he's on slicks. Well done, you're into the lead. Keep it up, keep it up. If I knew this is going to be a wet race, I wouldn't change to difficulty 200. That was a mistake, probably. You can see puddles now forming in some corners. I could have kept it at like maybe 90, 100 is probably too crazy at this stage. But let's see, the guy behind is around 4.5 seconds behind, maybe 5. I guess it also depends if it's braking zone or acceleration. My engine is 17 percent down, this is lap 26, so it's 10 laps to go. Trying to be as careful as accelerator as possible. All my settings are set to as realistic as possible too, so I'm not sure. I think this car doesn't have any ABS or traction control. There's a puddle here on the inside. Again, puddles are, you know, twice as dangerous as anything else because AI is not affected by them. So they can drive like like there are no puddles at all. They just they don't care about them. Player has to be very careful. It's not too bad still with those puddles, but I've saw a few on that uh, on the track already. I don't have any temperature for tires, 26 degrees, uh, a little bit more on the on the rear, like 40 maybe, below 40 degrees at the rear. Oh, it's not turning here. I was on our own gear as well. Uh, didn't did not downshift to second. I was on third. Maybe that's why it wasn't uh, turning properly. 
That's the corner of the puddles here on the inside. I'm avoiding those. All clear. Okay, there was a yellow. Interesting. Oh, there are some parts are laying around here. Um, accelerating over the curb is very, very dangerous. Okay, whoa! So far, so good. I'm actually, I think, increasing the gap to the second. So those wet conditions are working quite well for me. Second and third gear, in those weather conditions, on the accelerator, it's very dangerous. Also, it's important to avoid curbs if possible. Shows me seven seconds now, that's nice. That's a good gap. I think there was a big crash, I think I'm seeing some cars in pits based on the timings. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm actually quite enjoying driving it right now. I think I got used to it. The grip is not too bad as long as one is very, very careful with the accelerator. I was a bit twitched there, I think there is a puddle forming there on the inside. That was a mistake I did not want to. The seven second went to hell. It's just one second gap now. Good I didn't panic. Probably using the clutch and uh, turning around, spinning around was probably the best thing I could have done. And the safest. My mistake there was I went to the second gear other than staying on the third. That first corner when I spun. That's okay. We're still, I'm still in the first. Mistakes happens, you know, even to the best of us. Even to the real drivers. And it has just became so much more interesting, right? It's so much faster in those last two corners. Okay, we've got some pressure from behind. Yeah, I know. Start thinking about defending your line.
had a nice gap and it all went to hell. Hopefully I can rebuild it. If I can build at least like two, three seconds, I would feel so much more comfortable. Definitely slower than them here in these corners. But I think I'm faster in every single other point of the track, so let's see. I love the wheels there, but um, I released that brake pedal as soon as I realized started breaking again and that worked quite well so that was a good save Okay, I rebuild the gap a little bit. That gives me a bit more confidence. Just three more laps. There has to be a new puddle there. Something I didn't see coming. That was horrible. I thought it's the end of the race. I have to be so much more careful now around this truck. That happened in a place which uh, never happened before. My gosh, crazy stuff. There's so much wheel spin on the third, fourth gear.
I was so lucky there. But it's not over yet. It's not over till it's over, right? And to finish first. First, I have to finish. Final lap. Final lap. This is the final lap. The guy behind is definitely on it. He might try and sneak past in the last sector, but keep pushing it all the way to the line. Acceleration is brutal in those conditions. I'm fighting that car. I'm really, I really am fighting with that car, trying to keep it driving where I want it to drive. That was good enough. What a race. What amazing twist in the train. Something I did not foresee. I don't think forecast was showing it from what I remember. I have 12 liters of fuel left. Uh, that those conditions in the rain, they reduced my fuel usage for sure. I was much more careful of accelerator and wasn't pushing as hard. So uh, my average usage dropped from around 2.8 to 2.9 to 2.68. Let's get this car to the pit lane. The front tires are uh, quite a bit stayed because you know they were changed and uh, temperatures were very low. The usage was, was low. Whoa, I lost the car. Such a funny place. I let him drive. The engine is at 77%, so 23% of the engine could use... Whoa, I cannot turn. I was not able to turn for some reason. I was strange. I was really strange behavior. What a race. Uh, just 1.7 seconds uh, in front of the, of the second guy, the Nivlar. Um, my teammate, Oliver Kayser, at P7, so not too bad. We both in points, so that's a good, some good um, points scored for the team. Best lap, 115.8. I think this is the fastest lap, and it's actually not that far away from the second guy. 116. Point, so actually, quite a lot. One point, no, 116.2. Someone had there, so that's not too bad. 0 0.4. Brandon and Julie. But he was on P5 with almost 13 seconds. If not that spin, I would have a really nice advantage. But yeah, uh, there was a mistake. And also the second mistake could have been fatal. Uh, luckily, it wasn't. So uh, a nice uh, team scoring, 31 points. Puts us in the first place. And uh, yeah, I'm in the first place. I don't think there are any points for uh, fastest lap. So... There it is.
race of uh, Formula A. Really, really cool. And um, yeah, I won't be driving anymore today. The next will be uh, Road America, from what I can see on the map there. Really, really cool. Thank you very much for watching, and I hopefully see you next time. Bye.